Hi, my name's James Watts. I'll be the year manager from year seven from September. So I'll be responsible for ensuring that you make this transition from primary to secondary school as smoothly as possible. So I will be here to help you with things such as settling in around the school, finding where your, all your new classes are, assisting you with things like when the dinner times are, when break time is, because I'm well aware everything's quite different and it will take a little bit of getting used to. But you do have to remember that everyone in Year 7 will be in the same position, so please don't think it's just you and that you're the only one who's maybe a little bit unsure at first. Um, and you must come to me with anything that you need, so I'll be around as much as possible and you can just pop into me to say hello to introduce yourself um, just to let me know who you are and a little bit about yourself if you like. Um, and I can... I will be there to help you settle into your classes, but also to speak to your teachers and see what's going well, what's maybe not going so well, and how we can help you deal with the, the new environment that you'll be in. So, for example, you might have um, a particular talent for English or maths or science, and we can see, we you know, we can discuss with your teachers how we can enable you to realise your potential and do as well as you possibly can in them subjects. Uh, there may be some subjects that you don't settle with so well at first and then we can also have a discussion with your teachers and with me and your families as well to see how we can get you engaging in them subjects and what will work best for you. Um, I'll also be speaking to your families quite regularly so obviously families do worry when you make the transition from primary to high school about things like how you're settling in, what's different how you're adapting to a new environment, which obviously provides some challenges. Um, I'll be there to reassure your family and discuss with them what they think might work for you, because obviously they know you a lot better than I do. So that's why it's very important that we have these relationships and I'm here to make sure they that we build these relationships and we maintain them throughout your time at, um, at the Co-op Academy. There are also a lot of different things you can get involved in with the Co-op Academy, so like after school clubs such as football, um, badminton, all different sports and then you've also got things like your creative arts, so perhaps you might be interested in drama or an art club and all these things, especially in Year 7, are worth going to because they allow you to meet new people and they allow you to deal to see a little bit more of the school environment and You'll be mixing with so many people and you'll be making new friends and it'll all be all be beneficial to you because it will help you settle as well as you can. Because, you know, we appreciate it. It's a big change in your life and especially with everything going on in the world at the moment, we understand there's a lot of uncertainty and we just want you to feel as comfortable as possible. Um, so, as I say, if there's anything I can do, you must come and introduce yourself to me. Um, I'll also be obviously monitoring how things are settling within lessons, so how your behaviour is going, um, how your academic progress is going and what will happen if, if there's something we do need to have a discussion about. We'll sit down and have a chat, probably myself and maybe your, your family and we'll see what will work for you. But I think it's really important you realise we're all working in your best interest, we're all here for you and we just want to see you do as well as possible and I'm sure you'll really enjoy your time at the Co-op Academy with us. All right, thank you.